Fishy friends, welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fishtails. And it's still a bit of winter time and that's the reason. We're going to warm you up with a nice soup, a celeriac soup with hot smoke macro. Okay, step number one, we're going to chop up one onion. And as we will hand blend the soup, uh, just chop it roughly. So I chop one leek, take off the end part, both sides, cut it lengthwise and then I wash it under cold running water. I love the colors of the leek, it has all these different kinds of green, light green, dark green, nice. So we have onion, we have leek. Next one, celery. Wash them again. And devein them by breaking them softly and tearing them to the end side. So I cut off the leaves, they could give a bit of taste. Save them here. So I've got the sticks here and chop them roughly. Okay, so then the celeriac, I love this rustic piece of veggie. It gives great taste. So I will peel it with a knife, cut off the skin of the celeriac. From the top to the bottom. And now I cut these in cubes. So this is my pellet of veggies and this is a recipe based on four persons. And as you can see, the, uh, the majority of the veggie I'm using is celeriac because this is celeriac soup. But the leek and the celery sticks and the onion, they give the base of the taste. And this is where I'm going to start off with. I have my pan here on medium to high heat and I add like two tablespoons of olive oil. So the first step what I'm going to do is like um, simmer all these veggies on medium to high heat. Okay, so I start simmering these veggies. I'm not using salt at this stage because I will add some stock. And if you would use like instant stock you just bought in a supermarket, it could be already a bit salty. But then on top of it, we have this smoked uh, mackerel, which is also already uh, uh, has a salty taste. So that's the reason we add, we might add salt at the end of the stage. So I've simmered the veggies for like five minutes. So until the onion and the leek and the celery sticks um, has softened, I will add a liter of chicken stock. And I'm using chicken stock because it gives a bit more powerful flavor to the soup. But absolutely feel free to use a veggie stock if you don't want to use chicken stock. So now I bring this to boil, then I bring it back to low heat, medium heat, so it will be like 90 degrees Celsius, a bit of simmering. Um, all these beautiful flavors will get in touch with each other and we have the, this beautiful base for the soup. And actually after tw 20 minutes, uh, you need to be sure that the cubes of the celeriac are soft. Okay, so this has been simmering for like 20 minutes and as you can see, the cubes are soft. I can stick the tip of my knife through these beautiful celeriac cubes. So I took the heat off and now I will blend it until smooth. So what we will get is like a nice puree. So we have the, this beautiful soup and now we will top it off with a bit of cream. We have like 125 ml of cream, which I bring back into the soup while up my heat on medium. And we give this like four or five minutes on medium heat simmering and then the soup will be almost ready. I give it a taste. And in the back of my mind, I've, get, I've got this mackerel, which is already a bit salty, but it needs a tiny bit of salt. And I add a bit of black pepper. So it's now time to finish up the soup. I've got my bowl right here. So the first step is I add some smoked mackerel into the bowl. 
give it like this. And actually this recipe is for like six persons maybe. So to garnish it off, I take one more piece of mackerel. I have it on top of here. And now some chervil goes really well together with the soup. I have like a few leaves on top of it. So before I taste, just add a bit of olive oil, a few drops, looks amazing. So it's time for a taste. I'll take the bowl, first a little taste of the soup. Mm -hmm. Really good. All these delicious flavors of the veggies together with this beautiful, beautiful smoked, hot smoked mackerel fillet. It goes really well. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.